Hello! Now that I have recorded Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope Part 32, set to go live on the 26th of November, which it is currently, uh, I guess it's time to record Pokemon Episode 30, which is set to go live five million years after that. Anyway. All that said, we have the Elite Four to do. But I guess there's also a bunch of stuff happening in the school we should look at. I mean, I know the Elite Four is obviously the exciting part, but what do we have around? We can talk to Jacques about our Pokedex. Let's at least talk to people a little bit and maybe attend some classes. Ease into the Elite Four, right? Hello, hello, Piper. I see you've already registered a hundred species of Pokemon to your Pokedex for me. Little Pokemon, big Pokemon. Whoa, you even have data on Pokemon of this specific size? So much data, so much to analyze. Uh, sorry about that, I got a little excited there. My Pokemon research is moving forward at a great pace thanks to your efforts. Here, take these. Consider it my way of saying thanks. Ultra Balls. You're a natural at this Pokemon catching thing, aren't you, Piper? For your next goal, let's aim for 200 species. I know that's a tall order, but keep tossing those Pokeballs and don't give up. I'm pretty close to that, I think. Yep, pretty close. I slid on the floor there. What else do you have to say, Clavel? What other meeting type things do you want to talk about? Ah, Miss Piper, how kind of you to stop by. I must say, I'm pleased to see you on school grounds again. Travel and adventure certainly have their place, but it does one good to attend class as well, no? Speaking of which, there's something I'd very much like to ask you. I understand you've joined a variety of classes during your time here at the Academy. If I may ask, which of our faculty members have made the, has made the most favorable impression on you? Ooh. Hmm. Ha. Ah. Now that's a question. So, biology, math, history... Cooking... Or is that the language guy? Ah, right, okay. Obviously, I have to say you, right? Me? Are you quite sure? Look, you went above and beyond for, like, no joke, not just because I'm talking to you. You went above and beyond all for basically, like, one student and one group of students. Like, Team Star, that whole, every, your entire role in that quest line, exceptional, truthfully. I suspect some element of diplomacy may be at work here, but if that's indeed how you feel, then I'm most happy to hear it. We're truly blessed to have so many wonderful teachers and staff members at Uva Academy. I firmly believe that our faculty is second to none in their commitment to our students' ongoing education and well-being. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts, Miss Piper. You became even closer with Director Clavel. Like, like no joke. I think he has made the most favorable impression. Thank you for the visit, Miss Piper. A good friend of mine has been telling me of your recent exploits. You mean Clive? Ha! I'll leave their identity to your imagination. But now, lest I forget, there's another matter I'd very much like your opinion on. Do you know what manner of gentleman's hairstyle is considered cool, as it were, among the youth these days? <laughs> well, clearly I have to keep saying things like that. Giant pompadours. Oh, pompadours, you say? I suspected as much. Though I don't seem to recall many of the Academy's male students sporting such a style. Could it be, then, that the pompadour has already had its day in the sun? Perhaps I ought to consider a change of wig. Ah, that is to say, never mind. I mean, I... 
I, I assume this was supposed to be seen earlier, but it's still funny. Thank you for your insight, Miss Piper. It was most enlightening. You feel trusted by Director Clavel. Ah, there's more. Thank you again for your outstanding work on Operation Starfall. Now we've caught up to the present. I cannot tell you how relieved I am that we were able to help Miss Penny as we did. And I know she's exceedingly grateful to you for your part in all this. I have one more thing to ask of you, though the request is admittedly of a delicate nature. Do you think you could continue being good friends with Miss Penny as you have thus far? You bet. I must say, I truly am glad to have you as one of my students at the Academy. I believe you're, you've more than earned this small token of my appreciation. Dollars. I hope that you will always stay just as wonderful as you are now, Miss Piper. You formed a close bond with Director Clavel. I'm so glad you came to Uva Academy, Miss Piper. Me too, it's been fun. N now let's, uh, talk to Miriam some more, I guess. Smells like a hospital, you don't say. Hey there, come on in. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. No, oh, Piper, I'm glad you're here. I have some good news. You're not going to believe this, but... I passed the health teacher certification exam! Yay! I like the applause that was there, for some reason. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I saw you pushing yourself real hard with your treasure hunt, and that really inspired me. Of course, most of the credit for my success goes to my own hard work, though. <laughs> Thanks for giving me the push I needed to try again, Piper. Yay, those are useful, and are going to be useful immediately. But they tell me there's no room to add new classes this year. I guess I'll keep being Nurse Miriam for a bit. Just you wait, though. I'll be standing in front of the... A class at this academy before you know it. Then I'll teach you all you need to know about health. I bet I'll make a great teacher. I can't wait to see you in my class. Close bond. Formed. Hey, Piper, don't work too hard out there. Rest is important, too. Anyone else? Not at the moment, though I could, of course, go to other classes. What sort of classes would be available? Probably all of them. Yeah. Maybe not right now, though. Maybe not right now. And on that note, well, we've simply got to make it to the Pokemon League. How do we do that? I don't really know. What is the path to the Pokemon League? Where is it accessed from? Well, one can go back here, I suppose. Can I just climb up the cliff to get there? Surely that's not the intended way. Am I being teleported to the intended way? Am I being teleported elsewhere? That would work out for me, I guess. Okay, I was teleported to the intended way, but I need to see where that where you go from <laughs> to get there. That's silly, but you know. I guess that's one way to do it. Okay, so there is a staircase up. Right through that tunnel. And Pokemon leaks through that tunnel, right? 
That's where you get tested to see if you can become a champion. I just had my interview at the Pokemon League. The interview interviewer was real scary, though. Guess I could have seen this the whole time, but I never did. Very well. Let's get going. Hmm? Hey. Give me that. Give me the ghoul. Okay, this is another place where Tandem Mouse exists. A lot of them exist here, in fact. Any other Pokemon exist here? The Pokemon League building looks so cool. I guess I could have come here earlier. Are you like level 10? I'm making my way to the Pokemon League. Let's battle to mark the occasion. Jackson, the student. I guess I could have walked over here way earlier, huh? I didn't even notice it on the map for a very long time, to be honest. Ah, my one HP. <laughs> I needed that, maybe. Sorry, Jackson. I guess I was supposed to be here earlier a little bit. Well, losing's one way to mark an occasion. I suppose you're not wrong. I don't have any gym badges yet, but maybe I'll sit for the interview and see if I pass anyway. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know what the interview process is like, though. To be fair... Look at all these mice... ...mousing around. And some dogs, as well. Taking on the league. You look like you got promise, kid. Let's give you a challenge to grow on. First of all, Cabby Paco, I'm just short. Secondly, uh... Okay, you do have a higher level Pokemon. That's fair. I was expecting you to not. I wonder if you can challenge this person way early and get demolished. That'd be funny if you could. Well, time for May. I'm afraid that the sandstorm will do nothing to me. Should have just used Play Rock, but I wasn't thinking about it too much. I will need to think a little bit. No, May. Cerulege is a Pokemon I haven't actually seen, but is one of the evolutions of Charcadet that is known. I don't know what type you are. Fire Ghost or something? Anyway, that's Zero from Mega Man. Time for Gigaton Hammer! Oh. Steel? Well... Never mind, then. I don't know what type you are. Sorry, May. Not steel. Alright, Sia, is it your time to kill something successfully? Yes, finally.
Well done, Tasia. Bronzong, we can switch for that. Though you probably have Levitate. So I don't really have a great way to deal with you. I guess I'll just try continued use of liquidation and see what happens. Uh. Oh, you're gonna make it stronger for me. Well, all right then, if you insist. And that's not an insignificant boost. Oh, okay, you're just gonna let me win. You may see an attack in the future, but you don't see this, do you? Farewell, Bronzong. Ah, did you get some growth out of that? I did level up once, I think. So, yeah. Battling me helps you grow stronger, and you become a champion one day. That means I'm a part of what made you a champion, right? Technically, yes. So this is where you want to go if you want to find a million mice. And some dog. And some igly buff. I did do that. All right, well, let's see how this goes, I guess. I, I hear another uh, gimme ghoul somewhere. They're on top of the roof. That's kind of funny. Give me the ghoul. And here we are, the Pokemon League. Hello, Piper. So this is it. You've decided to face the Pokemon League. The final test you must pass to become a champion is held here in this building. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart, Piper. I look forward to meeting you again soon. Well? Are you ready to face the Pokemon League's champion assessment? As ready as I can be. Piper from Uva Academy, is it? It appears you have a total of eight gym badges. Very well, you may now proceed to the interview room. Interview room, huh? What does that mean? Oh no, it's Rika. Here to give me an interview. Thank you for coming today. Please do have a seat. This is very dramatic and not what I expected. Oh dear. I, Rika, will be your interviewer. Let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment. We begin with the interview. First things first, let me see how many gym badges you have. Excellent, you have all eight. Next, I'd like to ask you a few questions if you wouldn't mind, Piper. Please think carefully as you may automatically fail the interview depending on your answers. Let's begin. How did you get here today? I wrote on my Pokemon. Very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the school you're enrolled in. Is one of these the Scarlet Academy? That would be Uva Academy. That's right. So what brings you to the Pokemon League today? I came to become a champion. Yes, indeed. Why else would you be here, I suppose? Now, what do you intend to do if and when you become a champion? I want to battle Nimona. I see, interesting. 
Tell me, which of the eight gems gave you the most difficulty? Ooh. Uh... Which one was it? I think it was Montenevera? But it could have also been Alpha Not. Is this the order that I did them in? No. So this is maybe the order you're expected to do them in. Fascinating. Uh... Yeah, Montenevera. I see. And what was the name of the gym leader you faced there? That would be Rhyme. I did forget that briefly. I'm glad you seem to remember. This is more of a pop quiz, but do you remember which type of Pokemon Rhyme used? That would be Ghost. This is more of a pop quiz than an interview. Wonderful. Building the skills needed for the champion assessment is no small feat. You must have met a lot of Pokemon to get here, Piper. What was the category of the Pokemon you first chose you chose to be your first partner? That was the Fire Croc. This is a memory test. Very good, very good. Now please forgive me, but I'm going to repeat a previous question. Remind me, what do you intend to do if and when you become a champion? Battle Nimona. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. Why is this the next is the final question of this interview? Do you like Pokemon, Piper? <laughs> no, I'm just here for the sh for for some reason. Of course, I like Pokemon. What do you think? Do you like animals? I mean, I guess that's a valid question too. Hmm. Good job, kiddo. I'm just short. That about wraps up the interview. And let me be the first to congratulate you, Piper. You just passed the first part of the champion assessment. On your first try too, no less. Don't think anyone's done that since Nimona. But all you have to do is like, remember what you did, be honest, Answer obvious questions, obviously. Remember what you did again. Well, okay. But anyway, time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. The second segment is what we call the Elite Test. And you'll be facing the Elite Four in Pokemon battles. I mean, of course, right? I guess that's pretty obvious from the name of the test, huh? Anyway, we're the best the League has to offer. You'll be facing us four in a row, no turning back. This won't be a cakewalk, I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready, then go into the room behind me. It'd be funny if you have to take the interview every time. Alright. Time for the final test. There's gonna be at least six battles in this video, probably. Now, I don't know anything about the Elite Four except for who they are. One of them I'm not supposed to know, but I do. But we've met three of them. We've been introduced to three people as Elite Four members in the journey. You are the first one, I suppose. That tracks, because you were already there. Okay. And what type of Pokemon do you use? Now then, let's get this started, eh? Let good ol' Rika be the first of the Elite Four to take you on. I'd say I, I'll go easy on you, but I'd be lying! Think fast! All right, here we go. This is the Elite Four music. Oh, geez. They made it scary. Rika of the Elite Four. Whiskash. Are they gonna have types or are they just gonna use whatever? I finally get to battle you. I've been looking forward to this, so don't give up too soon. Okay, so they made the Elite Four have scary music again. My question is, do I get to terrestrialize every battle, or no? 
I'm guessing no. I don't really have anything I can do against Wizcash. That's not good. Uh... May. Do you have an item? Now you don't. Oh. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Already concerning. Already concerning. Wizcash is a strong opener. Evidently. Um. I think Wizcash can have water absorb. Am I allowed to read that information? No. That'll be acceptable. Double shock. Better spark? After using this move, the user will no longer be electric type? Huh? Well, okay. I'll take it. That's actually a benefit to me, I think, in a lot of ways. That must be a unique move for you. Camera ups. Now, if I had used water, that would have been great, but I didn't. Uh... Well. Vasilisa, it's the U-turn time again. So you might be ground type. Oh, nice spin. You might be a ground type Elite Four member, or you might just be whatever you want. It's still unclear. This might have been unwise, I don't know. You're probably gonna try a rock move or something of that nature. Uh, and I don't really have any particular way to resist such a thing. I do have plenty of items, so... I don't have to survive every fight effectively. Fair. Fire ground. Right. Well, I'll try this. That worked out. Chie will be asleep, but I can swap out. Or maybe the yawn... Oh, there it goes. Don fan, you are a ground type user. Got it. Um, hey, is ground weak to ice? I'm just gonna cheat and Google that. Yes, it is. Okay. I might be able to remember the gems that I did a little bit, but I can't remember the type chart. Alright, let's try and see if Sia can manage this. With ice type, there'll be a stab move, so that's pretty good. All right, you didn't... You might die instantly now. You didn't die instantly. Even to a crit. Okay, okay, good job, Sia. Well done! I believe Ice Spinner is accurate as well. Choice Scarf was a good choice, I think. Ultimately. Doug Trio. Now, I don't know if Choice Scarf will outspeed Doug Trio. But if it does, Doug Trio's as good as dead. Ah, shoot. Ah, beans. Acceptable. Understandable. Have a nice day. Uh, I suppose on that note, who do we use next?
Does Doug Trio have more or less attack than Vasilisa? That I don't know. And you'll be faster than me, and you will use Rock Slide and kill me instantly, actually. Uh, but I'll try this anyway. Oh, you're using Sandstorm, okay. This will at least be a stab type. Stab, okay, yeah. You made a fatal error of trying to set up something instead of just killing me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Claude Sire. Well, at least Claude Sire is a little bit weak. Unfortunately for Claude Sire, but it's true. And fortunately for me, I can swap out with my special protagonist power of cheating. So I can just use Psychic and end you. Yeah, ha ha! Impressive! You really are something else, kiddo. I added the... I added a Y sound to that that wasn't there. I think I'm used to Rika being a cat. Let's finish this. Go on, Clotsire, shake things up a bit. Okay, so Psychic actually won't do anything useful. Because you're gonna be pure ground type. Thank you for terrestrializing Clotsire. Clotsire deserves it. I'm happy to see that. Oh, that's cheeky. Terrastalize protect, huh? I don't know what that... I guess that accomplishes you being assured that you're al alive. Alright. Um... I don't know if I'm allowed to terrastalize constantly, but I think this will still do plenty of... Oh, never mind. Watch your step, because things are about to be get a bit shaky. Yeah, all right. Unfortunately, Clotsai are not very strong. All of my attacks can lower special defense, I've just realized. Like, almost all of them. Well, I'll have Iris keep going at it for as long as she can handle it. Oh! Ah, uh, but the Sandstorm is gonna get her. Ah! That Sandstorm did actually do some work for you. In the end. Alright. Vasilisa? As you are immune to Earthquake, this will- that'll at least give you that advantage. Ah, fair enough. Trying to wear me down with the Sandstorm, are you? Perhaps that's wise. Look at Claude Sire's face. But the Sandstorm is gone. Ah, yeah, you're barely alive. Ah, this is what you're using Claude Sire for. You know, that makes sense, actually. Take advantage of Claude Sire's high HP. And I guess... I guess Claude Sire does have that stat on their side. For the 100% accuracy. Oh, come on. I should have guessed you do... I can't believe the first Elite Four is toxic stalling me. That's hilarious. I appreciate it, actually. I used to do that to people. It was very funny. Next, you're gonna use rest or something at this rate. I'd laugh if you used rest. All right, enough of you. Get out of here. Perish. <laughs> A challenge. Aw, not bad, kiddo. I'm just short. I swear, I'm just short. Talk about unfair. No way was I ever going to win that one. Still, though, what a great battle. Felt good even to lose. Not a whole lot of trainers have the skill to make it past the elite test, but who knows? 
I'm beginning to think you might be one of the few that do, Piper. Better stay on your toes, though. The second of the Elite Four is stronger than me. You're up next, Squirt. Come on out. Coming. Wait, do I not get to heal? They've always let me heal before. Uh, uh-oh. Oh, wow. Did you lose, Rika? Yeah, I did. She's no pushover, let me tell you. I'll be watching from the side. Avenge me if you can, eh? You bet I will. Are you gonna let me heal? Are you gonna let me heal? Are you gonna... Yes. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I was scared. Okay. Um... That'd be really funny, though. I'd be like, uh... Pretty... Pretty destroyed. I would have laughed. I appreciate a video game just utterly removing me from life sometimes. Uh, I don't need those yet. Those are for combat use. If that should be necessary. Also, it'll be funny if Nimona's team is, like, entirely different because she just brings out her old team when we get to her. I mean, there's no way we're not fighting her, right? Right? I mean, come on. All right, small child, are you ready to face Poppy? I guess. Let me guess, you are ghost-type because you've got, like, the drift... Blim, Drifloon... Oh, wait, no, you could be anything. It's so cool you made it this far, but this is where you say bye-bye, miss. All my Pokemon are super tough. You could be you could be Steel, you could be Ghost, you could be Fairy. Your weak attacks won't work on them at all. They'll bounce right off, you'll see. Can't wait for you to meet my friends, so here they come. I'm guessing Steel, then. The tiniest child of the Elite Four. Yep. All right, Steel it is, then. Ground and Steel, eh? Go on, Raja! Smush him! Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I don't remember your typing other than the steel part. So what do we do here? I think it's just steel, actually. Here's my funny attack! Peace! Oh, they're all gonna be on the side watching us the whole time. Uh... Well, I mean... You're just gonna use Earthquake or something because you've psychically predicted my move. Nope. Never mind then. I like how square this elephant is. Hey, Chairman Rose also used Kaparaja. That was like his Dynamax, wasn't it? That's kind of fun. And I'm back to full HP. I wonder if I'll just be able to torch everything. Now this Bronzong could have Fireproof or Levitate. Who can say, really? But I might as well just keep Torch Song going. Not fireproof, then. All right. I don't think Poppy has much of a chance. I think my starter is going to win Corviknight. I forgot that this Pokemon was part steel. Is Poppy just going to completely fall over when she tries to terrestrialize something? Hey, uh, Scoville, you're pretty strong, huh? Magnezone. I mean, to be fair to the Elite Four, they've got a lot of coverage within their one type. But I don't think it's doing her much good in this case. Oh, you have Sturdy. Hey, someone lives. Someone gets to live today. Heh. You know, wise move. I don't know if it'll help you, but wise move. I'm worried about running out of move points. Honestly. 
I don't really have ethers or anything like that. Oh, you're gonna terrestrialize Tinkatomi. I'm not scared. My last Pokemon will turn things around. I mean, Tinkaton is pretty good. But it's time to get dressed up all pretty, Tinky. And then she just falls over because she can't. Okay, she all she kind of fell over a little bit, almost. So you're gonna be steel then, unlike the usual. Yes, pretty, dressed up all pretty by having a giant crystal ax on your head. This is the fashion of the day. Oh. Okay, right, you're not in it. Yeah, all right, that'll work. <laughs> Farewell, I apologize to you, Poppy. Rip. Can I have my, uh, can I get a heal? No. Oh. That's a good, that's a good text box. I want to take revenge on you, Rika. Pretty sure you mean take revenge for me, Squirt. Don't think I did anything wrong by you. Hate to say it, but you lost, Poppy. Better call the next guy. Oh, that's right. I haven't had to do this in a long time. It's your turn, Mr. Larry. Okay, so I had this spoiled for me because I looked up when you could get an IV checker. And it's like, well, in order to get the IV checker in this game, you have to defeat the Elite Four, which is these four names. And I was like, oh. So... I had no I I should have no idea, rightfully, that Larry is also the Elite Four. But he is, and I just have to live with my knowledge. Hello there, it's me, Larry. That's it? That's your entire <laughs> It's still funny at least. Okay. Wow. Uh Hello Larry. Do I actually have any like ether? I do have ether. Never mind. I thought I didn't have any of these. I guess I picked up a bunch of these, but I don't think you can purchase them. You know, I should save. All right, Larry. I love that. I do love that you were in the Elite Four. I wish I hadn't known that already. So you made it this far. I serve as a member of the Elite Four too. Yes, unfortunately for me. On my gym, I use normal type Pokemon since I feel they have a lot in common with me. But well, the boss told me to use a different type here. Uh oh. Now that I didn't expect. So if you have any complaints, please take them up with La Primera. What's it gonna be? Now that's interesting. Anyway, time to get to work. I'm gonna predict Dragon. No, not even a little. Okay, maybe a little, actually. Well, I'll be trying my hand with flying-type Pokémon this time. Interesting. Hey, wait. Are they using the types of the Titans? Did we have a Steel Titan? I think we did. Yeah, we did. We had a Steel one, we had a Ground one. We had a flying one, there was a rock one, and then there was the dragon one. The Elite Four is just gonna be the Titan types, isn't it? That's nice, that's neat, I like that. Hey, did you make the sunshine when I wasn't looking? I was too busy thinking about the themes going on here. You know, this makes a lot of sense game design wise too, because the Titans were the least like Pokemon trainer like boss fight as in they weren't Pokemon trainers, so That makes sense You do have a dragon though Altaria Well, see ya Your turn to shine I'll be giving Sia A chance to destroy someone Imagine if the enemies could also switch Pokemon when you did 
That'd be funny. Anyway, bye. Deleted. Stir after. You know what? Choice Scarf Ice ain't a bad way to go about a bird type team. Flying type team. Forgot about that part though, dude. But it might still work out. Not quite, but I might live. Not quite. Yes, quite. Work out actually. Sorry, Larry. Hey, where'd your briefcase go? You set it down and it despawned. Does that kind of cause you any problems? Or a choreo? You'll likely be fire. I guess. Because that's the only Oricorio I've actually seen. However, we can take... We can give Double Shock a try. We haven't seen that yet. It'd be funny if the lack of lightning type lasted for the whole battle. Ah. Well, you are electric, then. I haven't seen this one, but I want to try this anyway. Oh, that actually made me weaker to that, huh? Didn't consider that part of the puzzle. And Flamigo. You're even stronger than before. Guess I don't get a break today. Well, Flamigo is going to terrestrialize and get the move first and then destroy Chie immediately. But I'm going to try this regardless. At the risk of messing up my suit a bit, it's time to get some wind at our backs. So my prediction is the next guy's gonna be rock type, and then the champion's gonna be dragon type. Or rather, the La Primera. I'd advise you to stay on your toes because I'm about to scatter you to the wind. Okay, I guess you didn't, you don't always go first when you terrestrialize. Oh, Chie, yeah. And you still get damaged by the recoil from that, that's funny. Well... Wait, you can only use that once? Huh. I don't think that was advertised. That's a once a fight move, eh? Can I... I can't examine the moves from here. I misunderstood that move. That's all there is to that one. Uh, well. Still got a plan here. That was a pretty good face. Parting shot. Ah, that's the one where I leave in exchange for debuffing. You know? I wonder if that would be better than U-turn. I think it might be. I think that's worth trying out. That way I can debuff a lead. With my lead Pokémon. Well, that took the wind from under our wings. Oh, you have like a you have like a cloud tie. I bet your tie was different. You didn't have the gloves before either. You're a lot stronger than I recall. No wonder La Primera likes you. Now then, I suppose the final member of the Elite Four is next. It's your turn, Hassel. 
Makes sense that we fight the professor last. Now where could he be? Uh, don't think he heard you, Larry. Come on in, Hassel. Larry, you... You may need to speak up just a little bit more. Hassel? <laughs> Larry doesn't speak up. Hassel, you're up next! Actually, you might be dragon, because you have a dragon-type look to you, in a way. Something about your shirt. Hello there, Piper. It delights me to see you here. As for you, Larry, I see you made Rika do the shouting again, hmm? Uh, well, she is the shoutiest one. Actually, could I have been talking to the people in the back this whole time? I wonder. Okay, so... You there. It just says after using it, you'll no longer be electric type, but I guess it does follow that if you get rid of all your electricity, you won't have any left. Now I'm just thinking of a very obscure video that I made like a million years ago that's only funny to me. Uh, maybe I should just swap out Revival Blessing for another attack then? Too bad the best physical lightning move I ever got was wild charge that I didn't notice that I had access to. Never mind. Is the 120 worth it to have one whole move slot taken up by that? Not really. Wild charge is better. You know, I you could just... You wouldn't need ether. You could just constantly relearn moves, huh? So that item's actually a little redundant, except for making things like... I can talk to you. Hassel's the Elite Four's last line of defense. Can't wait to see how you'll take him on. It's super amazing you defeated Mr. Larry! I get the feeling I'm in for another one of Hassel's endless lectures. That's fun that you can talk to them. I hadn't thought to try. Alright. Time for my expert strategy, again, of kill, but my newly learned expert strategy of Basilisa drinks all your Pepsi and calls you a bitch and leaves, and you get debuffed for it. That'll be fun. I will face Hassel of the Elite Four. I was, of course, absolutely certain you'd make it to me eventually. Young sprouts truly do grow with astounding speed, yes. But I never for a moment imagined we'd be facing each other so soon. Now a teacher's duty is to guide students and aid their growth. But I think I shall forget about my role as a teacher for a moment. Would you like more zoom in, Hassel? Whoa. Just, just helping you out. And wield all my might for the sole purpose of defeating you. I am Hassel, the dragon guarding the final fortress of the elite test. Okay, you are dragon type. Forgot about your shirt. Prepare to learn firsthand how the fiery breath of ferocious battle feels. Alright then. Whoi! Alright. Step one, drink all the Pepsi. Show me everything you've got. I shall face you with my full strength. Step two, call you a bitch. Oh, you're faster than me. Well, you're still a bitch. Bye! Like, it's literally a swear bubble. What do you want from me? Forgot Noivern was fast, though. Well... Hmm, shall we try Sia? I don't think you'll outspeed Noivern, but Noivern's been debuffed and or might try to use Super Fang, so you'll live. Yep. And this will probably take you out. And will be pretty useful against the rest of you. Whatever that may be. Haxorus. Yep. Ice Spinner's still fine there, I think. 
Ah, my mold, ah. Rotate the whale. Oh. Well, it worked while it worked. It worked while it lasted. Still a good effort. Um. Checking summary. Well, you're the fast one, so I guess I might as well throw you out for a close combat. That'll do well enough. That was not the intentional intention. I just wanted to check this. Maybe unnecessary, but you know, whatever. Dragology. That would be dragon and poison, yeah? Which means that May, I believe, is pretty suited to this fight. May. So most of May's actions will be neutral. She also resists both of your types, so, uh, Gigaton Hammer! You can do that, though. And you can get a crit. Well played, well played, but... Have you considered the cartoon violence cloud today? Have you thought about it? I somehow doubt that you have. Flapple. Grass Dragon? Yeah? Eh, May can stay in. Oh. So you live, do you? Well, this has 100 accuracy, so... Oh, up. Best not to take the risk. Baxcalibur. Um, I don't know what that is. Hmm. Now that's interesting. Only a little more until you pass. Don't let up. What's a Baxcalibur, sir? Oh, I've seen you in uh, the Pokedex, but I don't know what you are. I'm going to go ahead and hazard a guess that you are Steel-type. Judging by your appearance, but we can... Come, oh great dragon, and take a Terra Jewel as your crown. Oh wait, you're going to be just Dragon-type anyways. Nice smirk. So this mean the champion is rock type? Oh, I haven't seen a dragon type Terra crown actually yet. Reminds me of Legos. Ah, come on. Ah, jeez. Aha! But my rocky helmet. Oh. Okay, so you live a little. Acceptable. Sorry, May. Alright, so what do we do? You might be fighting type if you're using Brick Break, but I'm not sure. So what do we do at this point? Oh, right, you also have Fairy. I think Opportunist should make Iris Terrestrialize if the enemy Terrestrializes. That would be fair and balanced. Nothing would be wrong with this. Eh. You know, I bet I could have terrestrialized during these fights. I just haven't been or something. Yep. The mighty dragon has been felled. Indeed, indeed. You really did it. Oh, wow. Huh. Wonderful. Wonderful. 
Uh, I'm, just, I'm just so proud of you. <laughs> oh, don't cry, Grandpa Hassel. There, there. Want a hug? Sorry about all this, Piper. The old man can get like that sometimes. So what am I do? I'm just, I'm just so overwhelmed. <laughs> Guess I've got to do the talking. Anyway, your result for the elite test of the champion assessment is... A pass! No doubt about it! Yeah, you're tougher than steel! Yup. You did so beautifully! Congratulations! I'd say you're good to go, but actually there's just a wee bit more to the champion assessment. This will be your final trial. See the door back there? Our fearless commander, the final opponent you'll face for your test, is waiting beyond it. Her skills are so amazing, she was able to strong arm, strong arm all of us into joining the Elite Four. You won't find a mightier champion. Though I think you'll do fine, kiddo. You beat me, after all. I'll patch up your team on the house, so don't lose, you hear? Good to know. Thank you, I appreciate it. I really love your Pokémon, miss. I'll cheer for you as hard as I can. Well, uh, good luck. Even a baby dragon can breathe fire! Whoa, guess you got over your sobs, huh? You can do this. We all know you can. Now go, young Piper. Your hands may be small, but let them seize a great victory. Hey, I'm short, okay? I have to keep saying it. Okay. Well, ahem, good luck. All right, Piper, show us the fight of the century. Good luck on your final test. Your final opponent is terribly strong, but then so are you. Banish your fear. With a calm mind, you'll surely see the path to triumph. Raise my special defense and attack. Got it. Understood. Sure am. So this is going to be La Primera, yeah? Unless Nimona is just butting in. But I think she's probably going to be after La Primera. Ooh. Fancy. Yep, that's La Primera, all right. Greta. That's your name. I was remembering your title instead. Welcome, Piper. Gita, my bad. Welcome, Piper. It gives me great joy that you've managed to make it all the way to the pinnacle of the Pokemon League. The final test is a battle against me, the top champion. To pass, all you need to do is win. But before we get started, I should apologize for one thing. You see, I have a trait that some might say is inappropriate for the League Chairwoman. I am utterly incapable of holding back when it comes to Pokemon battles. Maybe that's why nobody's passed this test recently. It's a bit of a problem, to be honest. But you, you might manage something wonderful, like Champion Nimona did. So are you ready for your final test? I want to see the true measure of your talent. <laughs> Distant Pokemon sound. Top champion, Gita. Hey. I do hope you can defeat me and become a champion yourself. Ah, they're doing a riff on, like, the Pokemon theme. I love it. All right, so you've got six Pokemon. Uh, you've, you're leading with a Psychic type, and I don't know what that means. Let's try foul play. Ah. What's the matter? You're not one to let something so insignificant fluster you. Yes, that was the correct decision in this situation. Please continue. Now that doesn't make me go faster, so... Might as well just try this again. You'll kill me. Ah! But my sandwiches have given me strength! Ha ha! Once again, my protagonist powers are saving my, saving my life. What do you got next, huh? King Gambit. This is a Pokemon I've seen the name of by accident, but I don't know anything about it. So you're just gonna have varied types then, I think. No rock type, Elite Four. Oh! Supreme Overlord, gained strength from the Fallen. Excuse me? Huh? That worries me a lot. Uh, so you've got a chair that you sit on. 
Uh, I'm gonna hope you're not fast. Peace out, bitch. Now I have to gamble on what type you are. Bug steel? Maybe? More importantly, what would you be trying to use against Vasilisa? I suppose... Either of those would have been acceptable. Uh... Scoville. Yep, that's what I was expecting. Bug or steel. That means it's time for you to melt. Strength from the fallen or no. So you didn't melt instantly. Well done. But can you withstand Kowtow Cleave? Oh! That's a really good attack. I like that. I think I've seen that attack name as well. Because just looking up information, you'll find stuff you didn't mean to. But such is the nature of things. Burn. The more it, the more time it takes for you to burn, the more power I have for the future. Oh, that wasn't a chair. It was like your hair. Also. Or something. And Scoville will slowly heal as well. Avalug. Well... That's also weak to fire. Thank you for that. So you just got a bunch of stuff, eh? Let's see. Bug, steel. Started with psychic, bug, ice. These are all gym leader Pokemon types. I don't know if that's a coincidence or no. Go away. Farewell. I love the triumphant rar and the leftovers happening at the same time. Veluza, water. Now, it would be reasonable to switch out at this point. However, you're also psychic, and I can try and shadow ball you. You might be faster than me, but I might be able to manage. I'm faster than you, actually. Right, Veluza's not actually that fast. Veluza has to speed up first. Understood. Overheat? Nah. It has synergy with Torch Song, but nah. I don't have enough move slots for that. Go Go. Grass. All of your Pokemon are the types that the Gym Leader had, and all of the Elite Four are types that were Titans. I think they must have done this on purpose. I bet they did this on purpose. Bye. So I think Rika gave me the most trouble of everyone in the Elite Four, right? Because I didn't really know what to expect there. And Whizcash I didn't have an answer for because I didn't have a Grass type. A Grass type attack. Glimora. Okay, I don't know what that is. That's good. I love not knowing what things are. Ha 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 ha! Don't think you've won just yet. That's an evolution of the Pokemon I was trying to freaking catch. What is that? Tell me what that is. What is it? I don't know what that is. I like it. I want to know what it is. I couldn't find it. What is it? Let's see. Let's think. Fairy type? No, can't be fairy type. So you've had psychic, you've had ice, you've had grass, you've had water, and you've had something else that was a gym leader type. This could be electric. That was a gym leader you don't have covered yet. Could be normal. That was a gym leader you don't have covered yet. Uh, whatever, Torch Song. <laughs> we'll learn shortly. Be the light that guides all trainers, Glimora. I 
I guess we'll find out in a second. Rock. Okay. You know what? There was they were missing the Rock Titan. That's fair enough. Now I don't know what type you normally are, Glimora. But it doesn't seem to matter too much. Now, if you're not normally faster, I think Terrastalize gives like a temporary speed bonus, maybe, but not like necessarily a first. I'll still try in Torch Song. This is how you're supposed to unleash a move. This is what it takes to be at the top. Well, if you say so. Oh, you have Terra Blast. That makes sense. Oh, Terra Blast looks different based on the type, doesn't it? Like, I haven't seen it in use at all, but that looked very rock element, didn't it? Okay, so let's take a look. You're fast, obviously. But how fast are you? I want to end this with the hammer. I have to. I have to do that. And maybe terastalize just for flavor, right? I have to. Just for the dramatic moment. All right, it's time. This isn't optimal, but whatever. The fluttering fairy heart powered ultra super gigaton hammer. And there's toxic debris, I guess. Okay, okay, that's funny. So are you, are you poison then? What are you? Not that it matters. You defeated top champion Gita Without any issues whatsoever. You go beyond my imagination so easily. Now Nimona's gonna kill me, right? She's gonna gank me. That terrestrialization was completely pointless, but it was cool. Such overwhelming power, such amazing skill. It seems Paldea has gained another wonderful trainer to be proud of. Congratulations. It's my honor to call you Champion Piper. Congratulations is right! Now I can really say you're good to go. Yeah, you did it, miss! Congratulations. It's just the way if I can't help it anymore. Ugh, crying again? Your Pokemon, you Pokemon trainers are the treasure of Paldea. And amid that treasure, champions are the jewels that shine brightest. Champion Piper, it's now your duty to set an example for all of the trainers of Paldea. Allow me to walk you back to the entrance. I'm certain you'll find a familiar face awaiting you. Can I get healed though, please? I use my Terra Orb to be cool. Can I get healed? Okay. Can I, can I get healed, please? Piper! Piper! Oh man, I can tell just looking at you. You did it, right? You became a champion? Yep. I knew all along. I got word from La Primera when you cleared the elite test. Oh man, Piper, I'm a champion and now you're a champion. Which means we're true equals. You and me, both champion ranked trainers. This is amazing. Now that you've made it here, I've got one thing to say. Battle you. Let's you and me be best rivals for life. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, Tomaya! All right, you know what rivals do? Battle their absolute hearts out. I'm gonna hit you with everything this time. You ready? Do wait a moment, Champion Nimona. What's the matter, Primera? The champion assessment has only just ended. I believe a rest is in order for Champion Piper, Bombardier, and the others. Champions must be understanding toward their opponents. Ugh, right. There I go getting overexcited again. Sorry, Piper and Bombardier. Her name is Vasilisa, excuse you. I, I must also ask, is this roadside really the setting you two want for your first battle as true equals and rivals? Huh, now that you mention it, that's a good point. In that case, can we use one of the Pokemon League battle courts? Surely there's somewhere more fitting, a place with special meaning for the two of you, perhaps. Special meaning, huh? Huh, let me see. Anywhere leap to mind, Piper? Out behind your house, that's where we first fought. 
Ha! <laughs> our beach out back, huh? Yeah, the place where we had our first battle might work. But on the other hand, to me it's just kind of my backyard, you know? A little ordinary. Any place else come to mind? Mesa Goza? Ah, good call! The place where we set out on our journey! That reminds me, Piper. Remember back when Director Clavel explained the treasure hunt? You know how he told us to go in search of our own treasure? I know that what treasure I got out of all this. I found a true rival. Someone who can stand up to me at my full capabilities. That's right, I mean you! I'm so glad I got to meet you, Piper. Anyway, that being said... I'll be waiting for you at the Battle Court in Mesa Gosa Central Plaza. See you there! Aw, oh, I'm someone's greatest treasure. That's sweet. The respect you two share is palpable, even a bit enviable, to be honest. I'm known as La Primera, but even when facing me in the final test of her champion assessment, Champion Nimona didn't reveal her full might. And you, I suspect she's found someone she can battle without holding anything back. Well, that's concerning. The real, ultra, true, double, definitely champion, Nimona. But first, healing. Yeah, we need that. And hey, Sia approved herself. She's been helpful. I don't mean to, like, dunk on Sia, but... Also, it's funny how small her icon is because I guess she had to be shrunk down to fit or something now that I'm thinking about it. She's also a smaller one. According to the size person. Anyway. We will indeed fight Nimona. Right now. Wait, there's been a battle court here this whole time? I Did I never notice that or something? Well, I didn't notice that Clive was Clavel, so... Who can say? It's possible I don't notice things on occasion. Alright. Nimona, it's raining, and I have a fire type. Can we wait for the weather to change, please? I'm at a disadvantage. Oh, this is a battle court. I guess I never realized that. I just parsed it as a central square. Any second now. Ah! There you are, Piper. You ready for a battle between champions? As all these folks here seem ready to watch. Word got around, I guess. Ah, the elite force here. And out of every single person gathered here? Are we doing the anime walk around a little bit? A little bit. I'm the most excited by a mile. Clavel, Gita, the elite four members. The stage is set. Oh, come on, really? Dust blowing through the center? It's my all out power versus your strength in full fruition. Let's see who comes out on top. This really does feel like it's a good thing I saved this for last. You got a different theme song now, Nimona? Yes, you do. You sure do. Champion Nimona. And a dog. Finally, the thing I've waited all this time for. Time to our, begin our greatest battle of all. Ah, oh, it's a remixer for a theme, too. I do love it. <laughs> it's gonna be difficult to beat Penny's theme, but this is pretty good! Alright. Are you ready for... Dying. Oops. Ah! How do you like my real hard hits? Man, it feels good to finally let loose. Well, uh... Swear word. Bye! <laughs> I forgot Lycanroc was fast. Alright, Lycanroc's fast. But we got a fast fighting type we can... punch a dog with. Alright, we got this. No problem, right? Yeah! And you're a fragile one too, so there's no way you'd live to that. To think I helped teach you type matchups, now you're using them to put a hurt on me! That's how Pokemon battles work, Nimona. You should know this by now. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. What do you got next, eh? Orthworm. Hmm, 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 hmm. 
Well, I can continue with my punching attacks on you, eh? You're merely a steel type. Time for more close combat. Ah, you live though, you live though. Right, right, you do have defense being... Ooh, I'm dead. Bye. Understandable, have a nice day. However, you're still slow. You want to see a real earthquake? It's the same, actually, but I'll show it to you anyway. Oh, shit. Ah, but... <laughs> I forgot about that! Ah, god. Well, sorry, see, I failed you this time. Alright, well, I'll just cheat. I'll simply cheat! No one will ever know! <laughs> Sorry, Nimona. Forgot about the ability Earth Theater, even though I thought about it before. What can you say? What can you say? You can say I forgot about the ability... You know what? Let's hold off on using Chie so we can pretend I didn't use the revive, and maybe it'll seem more fair that way. This is just time to set up Torch Song. It works out. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's no problem. It's not even much setup, it's just yelling at you and getting stronger each time. Gudra. Okay, fair enough. Torch Song's not very helpful against Gudra. Time for May. All right. Oh. Now what are you going to do to me, eh? Eh. 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 Nope. No thanks. The Dunsparce. I can handle that. Seems like a prime target for a certain hammer of mine. Though it won't be super effective, it'll still be plenty effective. Ahem, Gigaton! Hammer! Fair enough, that'll hurt! Ah, Rocky Helmet, though. And another Violence Cloud for you. You will destroy yourself with Rocky Helmet, I believe. Was it worth it? Perhaps this was the real Gigaton Hammer. Didn't see that one coming, did you? Well, you should've. Alright, Basilisa, you wanna swear at some people again? Give them a good old fuck? A piss? Well, you're not gonna live, because Pomo's pretty freaking fast. Ah! You know what? Fair. Understandable. Again, have a nice day. Your fighting type attacks won't be able to do much against my ghost type, though. Perhaps you'll teach me a move I could have learned this whole time. Ah, that one, right. Understandable. However, now you can't use that again. That's good. The chances of you being able to knock me out in another hit are low. Because you can't use that move twice. Ice Punch. Huh. Well... Ah, what? I didn't know you could freeze fire types. Frankly. I thought there was a little... I thought there was a bit about that. How you couldn't do that. But no, I'm thinking of using fire on frozen Pokemon. Alright, Scoville. I know that this melts eventually now. And the leftovers mean this is an endless stalling fest until that happens. 
you're doing about, well, let's see, 98 now. And how much do I recover? Melted the ice with its fiery determination. Yep. Well, you're doing a total of 13 damage or so. If this freezes me again, it'll be really funny. Fair enough. There we go. Very well, Palmo. Palmot. And healing. I don't think... Did Leftovers always heal you after you got a KO? I feel like they didn't. All right. It's all down to this, my last Pokemon. We're gonna fight with everything we got. Now, if we both Terrastalize, you're gonna get to go first, but is that gonna be enough to finish me off? I think I'll barely live and then destroy you. Shine blazingly bright, my greatest treasure. Is that me or your Pokemon? You said I was, but could also be your Pokemon, you know. So I didn't use Chia again, so it's basically like I didn't use an item. And I still won. So that works out. I just sort of preemptively used one out of a fear. Well. Oh. Ah, but I'm only fire type, so that actually didn't work. Bye. <laughs> I think I earned one of those after everything I've done today. Good battle, though. It's almost like I didn't use that max revive. Dramatic pose. Cool pose. Did you work on that? Are you... Are you... Are you okay? You! You did it! This is legit incredible! You're the strongest out there, Piper! I mean, you knocked me flat and I was giving you absolutely everything I had! Everything I... I... <laughs> oh man, Pokemon battling, am I right? It's so much better, so much more fun than I ever even knew! Everyone's nodding. Thanks for that incredible match, you beat me for real this time. Yeah! Handshake. Best friends forever. Now let's give ourselves a minute and have a quick break, Piper. Don't challenge- Before round two! Nimona! Nimona. That's Nimona. <laughs> Which Pokemon should I bring out this time? Decisions, decisions! Nimona, we got other stuff to do, like... Go to Area Zero and fight the Professor Turo, who's probably the secret final boss or something. I don't know, just guessing. Like, I'm legitimately just, just guessing, don't tell me anything. Victory Road! Completed! And that's the three paths. And now we have a phone call. Yo, Arvin here! Bow wow! Whoa, down boy, don't jump up like that! Seems like hearing your voice is old Mabastip here all worked up, Piper! Oh, but that's not why I called, nearly forgot. You remember what we talked about before? About going to Area Zero? Yes. Of course you do, you little know-it-all. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? Well, maybe Piper does, but I sure freaking don't. Well, all of the effort you've been putting in around Paldea has really helped you make a name for yourself. Build up some goodwill, that's for sure. I've been able to secure two allies who want to go to Area Zero with us. That should have us ready to tackle anything. Now we just all gotta get there. First step will be gathering at Area Zero. I'll be ready and waiting at the Zero Gate. I'll send you the location on your phone, too. Don't leave me hanging forever. Ooh. Ominous. We'll be waiting. Wow, wow, wow. Head to the Zero Gate. 
And where would that be? Wait, it's right there? It's outside? We got that in town? We just put that in Hey, y'all? Y'all, did we just put the zero gate in the town? Is that is that fine? I, I don't know. Anyway, this has been Pokemon Violet. We are the champion. We are the best. We are the greatest. We won. Everyone on the team is the best. Also, I think we can all give them... We could give them all the champion ribbon at this point, yeah? Oh, yeah. Jumbo. I forgot about that. I could make them all Paldea champions, but... You know what? I think you get credit for that. You know what? Actually, let's just, let's just, uh... Everyone deserves the ribbon. Everyone. Everyone did their best. Thank you, everyone, for your contributions to the Paldea Championship victory. Sorry for almost only giving May credit. It was the Gigaton Hammer, uh... Mm -hmm. The the energy of the Gigaton hammer. You know what it you know how it is. So, next time. Area zero. We haven't seen credits yet. Maybe it's not just post-game. But there's probably post-game too, eh? Oh yeah, we saw a duck. Whoop. I'm trying to look at the map actually. Right, this is what I'm looking at. So, everything's complete, except for the Area Zero stuff. Next time. It's time, next time. Until then, farewell. Shoot, what am I going to name this episode? <laughs>